Hello everyone and welcome back to how to make a mod in Tmod Loader 1.4 In today's episode we're going to be covering creating a magical item as well as a custom projectile to go with it But before we do that there has been a change in 1.4 that has caused mods to break uh, from previous tutorials specifically to do with tiles now you can already see on my screen the error is underlined and you can see that it's sound type and sound style. So the fix for this is to get rid of those and type in hit sound equals sound ID dot whatever your sound ID is. And that should fix it. So I'll just jump over to Tmod Loader quickly and we'll just build the mod just to ensure it works. It does. Okay, back over to Tutorial Mod. And now we can begin working on the projectile. So I've created three graphics for this. We've got a wand dust, which is actually called Tutorial Dust. which is misspelled on here. Let me fix that here. It should be that one, this tutorial dust. We then have tutorial wand projectile. And in items, close that, close that. We have tutorial wand. So I'm gonna create the weapon itself first. So I'm gonna create a new class. I'm gonna call it tutorial wand. The code you want here, you want the using terraria.id, using terraria.modloader, using terraria. And you'll want a reference to your projectile class, which is going to be something like tutorialmod.content.projectiles.weapons. You're going to extend mod item. And then override the set defaults and do your usual uh, item width and height. So item dot width equals 30, uh, 28. Item dot height equals 28. Item dot use style. This time it is item use style dot shoot. This is used for the uh, Staff animation item dot damage type equals damage class dot magic item dot no melee equals true. This prevents the item from having a melee effect because it's being held, uh, all the damage is being done by the projectile. Then item dot mana, I'm going to put at eight. This is how many MP points it's going to cost to use the item. If you don't have enough MP, it will not work. Item dot damage, I'm going to do 24. Item dot knockback, I'm going to do 3.2F. For use time and animation, I'm going to do item dot use time equals 15. Item dot use animation equals 20 I'm going to make the uh nope so i got those wrong way around item dot use time is 20 animation is 15. you want the use animation to be either equal to or less than use time otherwise the projectile will be made twice item dot use sound i'm going to use sound id dot item 71 and then you do item dot shoot equals mod content dot projectile type. And then it's going to be the name of your uh, projectile, which we haven't created yet, but we will. And then item dot shoot speed. I'm going to set this to 1F because of the way I'm doing the projectile. 
So you can also add in the uh, static defaults and the add recipe, but I'll leave that for now because I've covered those before. So let's go into our projectiles folder, weapons, and we're going to create our new projectile, which is tutorial one projectile. So for this, we want using Terraria and using Terraria dot mod loader. We're going to extend mod projectile. Override set defaults. And for this, we can do projectile dot whip equals 52 projectile dot height equals 52. Projectile dot friendly equals true. Projectile dot tile collide. We're going to set this to false because we do not want it to collide with tiles. Projectile dot ignore water. Water equals true. So it'll go through water. Projectile dot damage type equals damage class dot magic. And now to make sure that we're using a custom AI, we're going to do AI style equals minus one and we're making this projectile to, uh, continuously penetrate until a timer is up so now let's work on the ai so we're going to override the ai method so i'm going to start by incrementing the timer so the best way to handle timers is to do projectile.ai, make sure it's a lowercase ai. This is an array of floats, I believe. Yep. And choose index zero and do plus plus. This will increment it by one each uh, time this is called. And the way I'm going to do this is we're going to slowly increase the velocity for the first 60 frames then it's going to shoot forward and after three seconds the projectile will die so we're going to do if projectile dot ai of zero is less than 60 f we're going to change the velocity by uh 1.015 so it's slowly going to increase in speed. Otherwise, we're going to have it be much faster. We're going to times equal uh, 1.05. This is going to be much quicker. And because we're incrementing the timer, we then want to do if projectile AI0 is equal to 180. Well, actually, we're going to make that greater than or equal to 180. Just to ensure that it does get uh, to that point, we're going to do projectile.kill. Now we're going to handle the rotation speed. So I'm going to do float rotate speed equals naught point. 35f multiplied by and we're going to cast this as a float projectile dot direction so depending on the direction we're facing we'll determine the rotation speed so this would be plus or minus 0 0.35 then we're going to set the projectile rotation to add rotate speed now we're going to add some lighting effects to do this you do lighting dot add light at the projectile center and you can pass in uh, the r g and b values between not uh 0.0 and uh 1.0 i'm going to do 0.75 f 0.75f and 0.75f which would just be a grayish color and to give this extra effect i'm going to add some dust so i'm going to make this happen uh randomly 
each frame, but we're going to determine whether it happens first. I'm going to do if main dot rand dot next ball of two. So this will happen 50% of the time. Then we're going to do int num to spawn equals main dot rand dot next. And I'm going to do, uh, yeah, we'll do three. So we spawn between zero and three. Then we're going to create a for loop for int i equals zero. i is less than num to spawn. i plus plus. And then in this you can do dust dot new dust. And you're going to pass in projectile dot position. Projectile dot width. Projectile dot height. And then you're going to pass in the uh, dust type. So for this I'm going to do mod content dot dust type of tutorial dust speed is going to be projectile dot velocity dot x i also forgot to close those up multiplied by 0.1 f projectile dot velocity dot y multiplied by 0.1 f uh, bring it down to the next line then we set its alpha to zero. In Terraria, zero means it has it's fully visible, and 255 means it's invisible. Keep that in mind because it can get confusing. For this, we can do default dot color. Uh, need to pass in using xna.framework and then do 1f so that will create a dust particle on the uh, projectile's position based on its width and height it's going to create a tutorial dust which we haven't created yet and its speed is velocity.x multiplied by 0.1f so one tenth of whatever our velocity is its alpha is fully visible, color is default, and then its scale is 1. So now we have that. Let's go into our dust folder and create this. Tutorial dust. So for this, we do using Terraria and using Terraria.modloader extend mod dust and instead of there being a set defaults we override on spawn of which takes in a dust type we're going to make sure it has no gravity we're going to also make it have no light because we're going to use a custom lighting effect for this as well to animate of rather update the dust we do override update we're going to do dust dot position plus equals dust dot velocity dust dot rotation plus equals and we're going to rotate it based on its x velocity multiplied by 0.15f Dust dot scale, we're going to slowly decrease in size by doing 0.99f. If dust dot scale is less than 0.3, we're going to do dust dot active equals false. And now we're going to add in a lighting effect of our own. Lighting dot add light of dust dot position and like before we're going to pass in the rgb values then finally do return false this is all custom so save all that and head on over to varia So I'm going to build and reload the tutorial mod. And we have an issue. Could not be found. That's right. 
we need to go over to here and include the reference to the dust type so back over to Terraria build and reload everything reloads can you go into a weld I'm going to just make it day and then I'm going to bring how where is it tutorial wand and we have an enemy over here so you can see we have a projector that's spinning creates dust I'll try zooming in you can see our projectile is spinning we've used up some MP see the dust particles being created and you saw it not collide with the ground this velocity starts off slow and then increases very quickly so heading back over to visual studio so let's go over to our language file and we're just going to update this so item name tutorial wand is going to be called tutorial light wand and we can add in a I didn't mean to put a comma there projectile name of tutorial wand projectile is called uh, we'll call it tutorial light curse or something like that so now we've given our projectile a name, our item a name, and now that's everything. So thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you have found this interesting. Hopefully you'll be able to create some of your own AI. Until the next episode, thank you for watching, and goodbye.